All right, everybody. Hail and welcome to today's episode of Midgard Musings. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. If this is your first time, my name is Jesse and I host a weekly video here on this channel, usually talking about various uh, you know, subjects related to Norse heathenry, things that may catch my interest at the particular time. Uh, some fan requested uh, videos is, will be coming as well, subjects of that nature. There's also tons of uh, different uh, subjects that I've, I've covered in more of a series type format. If you go down to the playlist uh, section of the video or of the channel, you'll see all the playlists. There's deity discussion series, there's uh, Broggy's Corner, kind of a storytelling thing that I do, um, as well as Hobomol discussions and all kinds of stuff. So check out the channel, become a subscriber. Um, really excited to announce that just this past uh, weekend, or on you know this weekend here, uh, on February 2nd, this channel broke 1,000 subscribers. So as I've mentioned in all my previous videos, well, a lot of my previous videos, that once we hit 1,000 subs, I got a special thing that I'm gonna be doing as a giveaway item. So that is currently going to be uh, worked on this week and details of the giveaway and how to enter it and what the rules are and all that are going to be forthcoming. So thank you all again for supporting Midgard Musings that way. Um, so today's subject is going to be on might and main um, and what and how, how much do the gods really have an involvement in our day to day lives? What does might and main really mean? Um, and, and, and how much of you know the gods uh, intervening in our lives accomplishes things for us. The reason why I kind of wanted to bring this subject up and talk about might and main is because I see a lot of folks nowadays, um, newer heathens mostly I think, that um, will, will attest things that happen in their lives to the intervention of some sort of divine or sacred force, right? That when things go wrong, or, or there or there's things that happen that cause them to have a step back in life, or you know, hit a bump in the road, whatever. You know, a lot of people will look to blame Loki, you know, because of the trickery or or the, or the mischief that they've, they've come to experience in their life. When things go good. They want to, you know, thank Odin or, or, or Freya or Frigg or Thor, you know, for his strength and all these, you know, various things. People will, you know, I think it's, it's almost human nature even to look to the forces that are greater than us, um, especially when, you know, when, when things happen, impactful moments in our lives, you know, how we want to, you know, thank the gods, um, which is all well and good. But... In terms of the day-to-day -day things, you know, um, this whole concept of might and main, and what we're talking about are two words. Um, might, of course, being something that we use in you know modern English um, to refer to the, the the boldness, the strength, the power um, uh, of a person if they are mighty. You know, it means that they are great and powerful. Um, they, they they possess some sort of strength. Um, that really kind of goes beyond just the normal thing, right? Um, the normal average level of power or willpower, strength, might, right? Well, main is an old English word, and it pretty much kind of it, it like pretty much means the same thing. Um, it, but it, it usually is referring to some sort of metaphysical force, you know, something that exists outside of the mundane. Uh, something sacred, if you will. Um, there is, you know, some words that we use in modern English today that um, would would tend to, you know, we would get maybe a better understanding of what the old English word "main" means. Um, you know, some, some something along the lines of, you know, virtue, um, courage, skill, you know, things like that. These are all things that, when we're talking that might and main. Uh, encompass these are the things that we're talking about the skill level the courage the virtue the power the, the, the greatness of something um, and so the reason why I wanted to bring that up today and then, and then kind of circle back to the whole what do the gods actually do for us what I think happens a lot is that we as individuals we as human beings you know, we are very we are geared and we, we're sort of programmed to do for, for greatness, we're, we're destined for greatness. We have it in ourselves to do great things. And that is where the might and main come in. Um, 
what we accomplish as people in our day-to-day lives and throughout our lives, um, to me anyway, and this may kind of lean a bit more towards what my personal view is on things, not necessarily what the entire view of the heathen world is, um, or the heathen worldview for that matter. Um, but you know, when I when I see of, of greatness or you know, people accomplishing great things, whether it's you know success in their business, um, success in their you know work life, or you know any sort of great accomplishments that we can attest to, um, my first thing that I look at is the person's might and main that have accomplished those things. I don't necessarily think that they are particularly um, you know, admired by the gods, per se, because I think that we as, as, as mankind, we as humans, um, there are rare occasions when, you know, the, the, the deeds that we carry out, the very actions of our lives, would, would certainly garner the attention of the gods, or a god or goddess specifically. Um, but overall, I don't really think that the gods are, are sitting back and taking a whole lot of vested interest in what we do day to day. On average, like I said, there are certainly things that I feel catch their attention, um, you know, make them notice us a bit more, and that's that's. I, I truly believe that. Um, but overall, and on, on, on the day to day stuff, you know, I don't particularly think that, you know, for instance, if you have a business and you are thriving in it, you know, I don't particularly think that, you know, Freyer, you know, who's you know Lord of Harvest and Bountiful Harvest and things like that. I don't think he particularly is sitting back going, "Yeah, Jim, Bob, you know, you're doing great," and I think here's my blessing for it. I think that the success from people that do things like that and that have that success is from their own might and main, their own virtue, their own their own skill, their own level of dedication to what it is that they do. And I think that that we need to encourage that and, and, and realize that you know we are powerful beings in and ourselves and that there is nothing that we can't accomplish if we don't if, if we if we put ourselves to it you know um, I think we will oftentimes scare ourselves out of something or you know um, give less of ourselves for be able to accomplish something because well I couldn't do that you know that that's not in me to do that you know why not why isn't it there there is power within you that 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 metaphysical power you know you you're yes we are in the mundane but there is something in us that allows us to accomplish great things from our own efforts all right you know so the it, it's kind of like you know look at it how like in the in the ancient times of uh, warfare even and you could look at it in, in modern aspects as well but you know when the king led forth uh, an army and, and you know kind of hyped them all up and gave them all this you know feeling of greatness within themselves to be able to go out and and fight and die even you know you know and they were brave and they took they took courage in the word of the king and the word of their leader and in the actions that that they carried forth then were were valiant you know that to me is might and main that is that is those are the things that make you accomplish what you've got to accomplish and set out to do you know you know so the it's not necessarily that they're there being given any sort of divine strength or courage uh, per se from the gods or goddesses, but that, that strength and that courage comes from deep down within and it needs to be cultivated and needs to be, you know, brought up sometimes from others of, of greatness themselves. You know, so this doesn't take away from the fact that I'm, I, I believe that, yes, the gods will have active roles in our lives. Um, but on, a, on, a, on an average day-to-day, you know, sort of thing, um, the greatness that we see uh, uh, being accomplished is most likely due to our might and our main. You know, the things that we do to bring excellence about, you know, in our lives, taking those opportunities that we wouldn't have necessarily, that we wouldn't have taken otherwise. You know, taking those risks, taking those chances, not letting fear rule or dictate the uh, our actions or our lives you know so um, I would urge everybody who watches these videos um, that's you know subscribing to my channel thank you very again very much for doing for doing that because it, it means the world to me it, 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 it it's heathens helping heathens you know um, and that is something that I want to see trending now um, thanks to Billy Geiger for kind of coining that phrase over there at the uh, Kentucky Norseman up there in Kentucky his clan 
uh, heathens helping heathens. Let's hashtag that, guys. Let's let's make it something that we know about and see about. We're here to help one another. We're not here to tear down one another. Let us all build our might and our main to continue to grow this community worldwide. You know, um, there's nothing that's stopping us from helping each other. It's 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 foolish for us to to see somebody new coming into heathenry and we see things that we're like, ah, you know, that may not be the the right way, you know, or the or the authentic way, but it's their way and cultivate growth, guys. Don't bash one another um, over minor things, you know. Help educate, teach, learn. You know, we've all been here uh, uh, on this path that we're following at different times. We've all started out somewhere in, in the beginning. We all didn't know what we know nowadays. So let's help one another, right? Let's bring out our might and our main to help each other build this community that we all love, I feel. So anyways, guys, that is my topic of discussion for this week. I'd love to know what you think. So go down there in the comment section and tell me how you feel might and main is important in your day-to-day -day lives and how the gods interact with us you know how much do they really have in their hand in our lives i'm anxious to hear what you have to say um, another thing that i'd also like to bring out is that on uh, september um, i believe it's the second or third week of september this year um, is the nashville pagan pride day and um, i am working on trying to be a, uh, be a vendor at that event and the PayPal link that you see in the top of, of, the, of the description of the video where it says you know Midgard Musings tip jar um, that PayPal link if you want to donate towards helping me get there uh, to that event as a vendor it would be greatly appreciated no pressure at all also down in the description there is links for the Teespring store which if you buy merchandise you have something that you can you know wear and, and display and, and enjoy um, and the sales of those items does help out as well with the building of this channel um, and it will help go towards Pagan Pride so anything that you're willing or able to do I appreciate um, check out all the other videos uh, that you'll see floating up right here at, towards the end of this video and then you'll see floating the floating Midgard Musings logo on this side right over my shoulder here so click on that logo become a subscriber click the bell for notifications so you never miss anything Check out all the related content that you see um, on this channel. Thank you again so much for tuning in and watching. Next week, we will resume the Deity Discussion series, um, and I will let you guys know on the Facebook page later this week uh, who that Deity that we will be discussing is. So thank you all again so much. I'll see you in next week's video. Hail.